Good. Yes. Were all yoga folks, you? <laughs> I, I did handstands last week. Yeah. Did you break a nail? No. My teacher said, you can't do it. You so to remember to hold it here. Because yes. if you hold it under there, the sound yeah. doesn't um, <laughs> just doesn't mean me. Yeah. So, so we should go to class. What, you're not supposed to be here? <laughs> oh, oh. oh my gosh, nobody's supposed to know I'm here. I'm supposed to be at work. <laughs> Saving lives. So I'm in Dallas teaching textualis quadrata and semi quadrata. So we've had a really, really, uh, we had a really good lecture last night on the rise of the Gothic scripts which uh, was great because I, I, I had the opportunity to introduce this group to, um, to some really wonderful uh, varieties of textualis quadrata, semi quadrata, uh, antiquaria, and lots of, lots of really interesting paleographical scripts. Today we looked at textualis quadrata and the students looked at the quadrants and the lozenges and the downstrokes. And uh, we've just gotten through the whole alphabet, so we started at 9.30, we finished at 5, and then we had a break, and then we got back at 7, uh, and we're finishing at 10 this evening, uh, and we repeat the same time schedule tomorrow. <laughs> and people are just like, oh God, no. So I'm going to show you how I do this script. So Leo is going to, Leo is going to hold the phone. So textualis quadrata. Um, so what I'm going to do the alphabet in alphabetical order rather than in uh, group order. So we have A, lozenge, lozenge, quadrant, D. Tangential touch, little half, little split serif, C, so the little trick, D, What I did here was I put this here, and as soon as I put that there, and I put the uh, marker here, I realized I was too close. F. So did you see how I used my whole body to make that shape? And one, and two, and three, and G and lozenge and lozenge now look at this I'm going to go down you see how the point is in the middle of the marker so I'm going to I've done the lozenge and I've gone down to the underneath and I've gone back up So that's a really good trick to guess. So you're not guessing where the lozenge is intersecting the, the downstroke. Need to come. G, H, quadrant, lozenge. Underneath, back up, left, uh, right corner, in the middle, middle, and 
H-E-H. I, which is the basis of the script. J. Now, the descenders don't necessarily have to go too below. One is enough. So we've just gone a little bit. So we're not touching that next line. K. And one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six. L. M. Quadrant. Downstroke. Quadrant. Same angle. Lozenge. Go back to the middle. Up and down, and quadrant, and lozenge, and so it gives us enough internal space. Just be conscious because this internal space is a little wider than this one. N, and lozenge, and back up, and down, and O, and little trick, and one, and two, and three, and four. So there's a little overlap there because the bottom is a little on the long side. So it's more like a quadrant, an elongated quadrant. We get a beautiful little tangential touching. O, So you can do this as well, which we didn't look at. And one, and two, and three. Let's do that again. Quadrant, count stroke, quadrant, quadrant, and and one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine. So what I've done is, this is the center line here. So I'm just above the center line because with a Roman S, the top of the S is a little bit smaller than the bottom. So you, you have to keep referring to the Roman capital uh, or uh, T, a little bit higher, quadrant, from here, under the line, out, yeah. and back, so notice that, really important, U, V, in, up, Quadrant, down stroke, tangential, W, one and two, and lozenge, and up, quadrant, and down, and lozenge, middle, 
lozenge. Y. You can also do this and one, two, three, four, and five, and six, or So I'm going to work between here. So textualis quadrata has these quadrants and the quadrants give us these shoulders. Semi quadrata does not have shoulders, it only has sharp angles. C. D. So I'm going to redo the O because do you see what's just happened with the O? Because I'm I'm sort of speeding up. I lost the turn here. See P.
The reason why I opted to show you this is because I, I think a lot of the time people, people assume that the textual semi quadrata is easier. But it's actually more difficult because you have to pace yourself on the letters. Look, I collapsed on this O. So it's, it's not actually easier to write the script. You think, oh, there are fewer strokes, so it should be easier. But there's a lot of concentration and you have to slow down as you're approaching that edge. So you go one and two and three and four and five and six. And that's where the difficulty comes. The other main issue with semi quadrata is this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one and two and three, four and five and six. Seven and eight and nine and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So we have stop, change direction, stop, change direction. So we have these beautiful sharp edges. And then we have a sort of a wave rather than a sharp turn. So it's much smoother. And here I've slowed it down just on the turns. But for a long time I struggled doing semi quadrata, especially because of this, because I, I didn't really understand how the M was written. But you can only really write the M once you understand how the lozenges work on the quadrata. So that's why getting those lozenges and quadrants in the right place is so important. If you don't get it right, it just collapses. All right? So what I would like you to do is I would like you to attempt the semi quadrata now. So do them in their groups. So we'll stick to this, I-N-M-U-B-W, R-J-Y-T-L-H, O-A-P-G-Q-G, C-E-B-D, F-K-X-Z, and S. And the uh, size three names, or it's just four? Oh, it's four. Wow. Let's stick to four, because remember, if we, if we do it at a smaller X height, it's actually a lot more difficult, especially when you come to that S and that K. Okay? Thank you very much. Thank you very much for staying on for so long. Um, so I'm going to get back to my class and crack the whip. <laughs> and uh, I, will, I will see you all soon. I will post some stuff later on. Um, and I have some great news, which I will tell you tomorrow. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.